Welcome to ICT Teacher Video Channel to amplify your ICT skills with videos. If you're new here, make sure that you click on the subscribe button. In this video, we are going to learn how to create and copy a formula in Excel using three types of cell references. Let's jump into the topic. Formulae in Excel Formulae help to perform arithmetic operations on data stored in cells. All Excel formulae start with an equal sign. A formula can contain any or all of the following values, references, functions and operators. Let's learn about each part separately. Values are the numbers or text we enter directly into a formula. These are some of the examples for values. A reference identifies a cell or a range of cells on a worksheet. It tells Excel where to look for values or data to use in our formula. For example, B3 refers to the cell at the intersection of column B and row 3. Functions are the predefined formulae. Examples for some of the functions are sum, average, mean and max. Operators These are the symbols that represent mathematical action in spreadsheet formula. Examples Addition, plus sign, subtraction, minus sign, multiplication, Asterisk sign, division, forward slash. A formula can use one or more operators. A formula that uses one operator is known as a single operator formula. If it uses multiple operators, that calculation is done in the order of bit mass. Now, look at this example. It shows a list of items sold with the cost of each item and the quantity. Now I need to find the total cost. To do that, I want to create a formula that multiplies the item's cost by the quantity. So, select the cell where I want to display the total cost. Type equal sign because all Excel formulae begin with an equal sign. Now, select the cell with the item's cost. Type asterisk sign for multiplication. Then, select the cell that contains the quantity and press enter. It displays the total cost for the chocolates. Now, when you select the cell where you perform the calculation for the total cost, the formula bar displays the formula we use for the calculation. Now, without creating a new formula for the other items, I'm going to copy the formula to the other rows. To do that, I select the cell containing the formula, click on the fill handle in the lower right corner of the cell and drag over the cells I wish to fill. Then, release the mouse. Now, when I click on each cell, from the formula bar, we can see that the formula has been copied and the reference is relative to the location of the cell, which is called relative reference. Now, we need to calculate the discount for each item. To create the formula, to calculate the discount, select the cell, type equal sign, Select the cell with the total cost. Type asterisk to multiply. Now, select the cell with the discount rate. And press enter. Let's copy the formula. 
when I try to copy the formula, it gives me a wrong result. Because one part of the formula uses relative reference, while the other part uses fixed reference. Before copying the formula, I should fix the reference by adding dollar sign in front of the column letter and the row number. As you can see in the formula bar. Now press enter and copy the formula. So the absolute reference is used when there is a fixed reference in a formula. Look at this example. I need to calculate the parameter of a rectangle for various lengths and breadths. So I select the cell to write the formula. Type equal sign and then type number 2 asterisk sign for multiplication then within bracket add the length and breadth. Let's copy the formula. It gives incorrect result because I need to use absolute reference for the column in the cell reference B3 and absolute reference for the row in the cell reference C2. As you can see in the formula bar. Let's copy the formula. So, this is called mixed referencing. Where the row or column reference is relative while the other is absolute. If this video was useful, don't forget to like and share among friends. Thanks for joining. Have a nice day.